Hey guys, hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, obviously, always enjoy coming to be able to talk to you guys after a victory. It was a sigh of relief, but also at the same time, I told our guys enjoy it. They're hard to come by this year with the challenge we're facing. The same thing I told you guys after the game. Still holds it, right? We face adversity. We'll continue to face adversity throughout the season, but our guys made it. Um, you know, just being able to sit down this morning and talk. Athletes, not only in our conference, but in the country, on all sides of the ball, right? Offense, defense, special teams are well coached. So, look forward to diving more into them as we kind of have a mini bye week this week. And there before we know. All right, Terry Davis with the first question. How you doing, Coach? Hey, Terry, how you doing, Mike? Uh, two part question. First, how do you celebrate your first win, and who did you hear from mostly? Yeah, so. Good question. I, um, you know, was able to get home at a decent hour, just like you guys. Uh, it was late nights, but that's okay. Went home and uh, was fortunate to have my parents in town with me. Um, so be able to sit down with them and just talk with them and enjoy that. It was kind of nice. Then got a little a couple hours of sleep and returned back to work. And then, you know, heard from – very fortunate. There's been people along the way, as you guys know, a little bit about my journey. And uh, it's just nice to hear from – People from all over, right? Former players, former coaches, uh, friends. I don't have many, as you guys know, but then, you know, just some other family. So appreciate the support from everybody. Obviously, we hope we get a lot more congratulations texts along the way. But again, it all starts back with the way the players and their results throughout the week. All right, Stephen Johnson. Hey, coach, how's it going? Hey, Stephen, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing all right. Um, after taking a look at the film, what what are some of the areas you guys are going to spend uh, the most time kind of focusing on during this off week? I think when you have 12 penalties in a game, uh, obviously that's a direct reflection of me. So I, that's something I told uh, the staff. I need to do a better job making sure that I address those issues during practice. You know, we can't have things, the unnecessary roughness, things of that nature, right? The delay of game was on me. Uh, first time I've ever seen a defensive delay game in a few years other than getting up late off the pile. So there's things we got to clean up uh, from a penalty standpoint. And then, you know, just as we continue to learn our execution, right, I think we saw, you know, some passing route timing we got to get better at, you know, some blocks here and there. Uh, and then defensively, you know, we're going to try to give us our defenses maybe tempo looks, go as fast as we can versus them, you know, to force them to get the calls in a little bit quicker. Uh, so there's there's a lot of little parts around here, but first and foremost, it's really just something we got to get correct. Evan Barnes. Good morning, Ryan. Glad you slept well after your uh, your first victory. Yeah, I did. Uh, okay, slept well, but thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate it. Uh, a couple things. So um, when you when you look back at the film, um, the offense, you guys were able to still get 500 yards, but you know, weren't as many downfield plays or explosive plays. Um, is that something you were concerned with as far as just going forward? Or is that just kind of like the first week where guys are just, you know, getting back into a rhythm after obviously just being able to perform in fall camp? I think it's a combination of a bunch of things, Evan, right? I mean, we sit there and say it's the first game, so trying to get back into a rhythm. You're also going to do what the defense gives you, right? And um, if, if they're not allowing the explosive plays, but they're going to let you kind of just put together drives when we were able to piece together some drives, uh, that's what we're able to do. And, look, we're going to take our shots, and, and we obviously want explosive plays. We'd love to bust some big runs. We'd love to, you know, throw for big passes. But, the you know, when it's all said and done, if, if teams are going to, you know, make us earn it, we need to be able to sustain drives. And sometimes, you know, an explosive play uh, can hinder your overall what you're trying to do, right? So, you see sometimes teams that are trying to be ball control to, you know, assist the defense. You know, I, I'll take wins however they come. I don't care if we win games 3 nothing or, you know, shootouts. So yeah, we're going to do what we feel is the best for the overall game plan. And it's not just, hey, let's see how many points we can score. And I think that's one of the things you'll see is we're going to have to do different things to adjust uh, given our roster, given, you know, the game plan, given what the offense, defense, and special teams units face. All right, Stephen Johnson. Coach, uh, Colin Watkins, he, he started the game alongside Drake, and he ended up playing a lot of snaps at receiver. I almost want to say he was out there more than maybe everybody except uh, DeMonte. Just how big is he going to be, and how are you guys just planning on using his versatility this year? 
Yeah, he, he's he's going to be huge with that. You use the right word with versatility. He's one of those that we feel like can play that role that we've used a lot of those guys right over the past. You know, whether it be a Kenny Gainwell type, Antonio Gibson, Tony Pollard, those type now. But have we utilized those guys in the backfield? Some that wide receiver. He's got that unique skill. So he's a huge kid. This offense moving forward. Really excited about him. He's worked really hard, and he'll be a tremendous asset for us. You know, playing that wide receiver type role and also being in our backfield. Brian Moss. Hey, Coach. Uh, having a bye week uh, this week, uh, does it, does it come at a good time for you because of the COVID situation or any health-wise that you get uh, you get to heal up a little bit before going into Houston? I think any time you have a bye, obviously, it's, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit awkward. But I think with our shortened training camp, um, it's, we're trying to make sure we're knocking that rust off of everything. I think it is nice to have. We we are a little bit dinged up, so just to be able to continue to gather. You know, you look at a Houston team that will be their first game when they come here to the Liberty Bowl. So there's some unknowns there, so it gives us our staff a chance to prepare for them. Obviously, they've been preparing most off season for this game because it will be their first. Now that they knew that, so I, I think that's going to you know to hopefully put that equal playing field. All right, Terry Davis. Hey, Coach, other than the, the defensive penalties and what's going on, what was your overall impression of how the defense played? You know, maybe I'm going to I didn't, I was not happy with the way we started on defense. Um, we've got to get lined up quicker. we got to get the defense calls in. We've got to get down on our stance and be ready to roll. Uh, the first quarter, like I mentioned right after the game, was one that we, uh, we don't want to talk about. We can learn a lot from it. And I think sometimes when you watch the play continuous rather than a cut-up film edit, you can see that, you know, we need to – um, make sure we're doing a better job. It starts with us as coaches, right? Make sure that we're getting the calls in and them lined up correctly. And I think once the guys got settled down too, I think a lot of that's that first game, right? Man, these guys are playing fast. Uh, we never got, and again, that's my fault that I didn't get them to the five reps for sure offense you know, for a continuous amount of, you know, quarters or practices. So I think that, you know, at the end, when it was all said and done, I, I like the overall performance on our defense. We just got started a little bit better. And then, uh, like you said, other than the penalties uh, in the fourth quarter, uh, I thought they played a solid game. I think our guys were prepared. And any time you get three turnovers, I mean, what, what a huge factor. I like seeing that turnover belt, and I hope we get to see it. Evan Barnes. Hey, Coach. Uh, Ryan Brady was talking to us about kind of how he was moving a little bit more this game and then he kept showing off his wheels a little bit. Um, how, first of all, how fun was that to see? Obviously, he can do that, but just is that going to be something, you know, that, again, you know, take what the defense gives you or just him being more comfortable being able to run with the football if need be to, you know, extend play some more? It was pleasant to see. I, I, I still have vivid memories of Brady White going down by a fingernail versus Tulane a couple of years ago, and I, I still give him a hard time about that. I said, you, know, you can't get a shoestring or fingernail tackle, but – he looks better, like I told you guys in the past. So he's one that, you know, whatever workout he was on during the quarantine um, or during the, the time off, I need to get on because his body looks better. He has more confidence in his ability to move. You know, the ball, he's going to take what the defense gives him. I don't think that means we go out there and, you know, they've done a, done a called quarterback run game, you know, power option read stuff. But uh, he's certainly capable and uh, proved that. And so I think that puts us in a better spot. You know, I'm sure the offensive line likes it. Uh, a bigger, stronger version of him that can move around a little bit better. Devin Walker. Happy Labor Day, Coach. Thank you. Happy Labor Day to you. Appreciate it. Uh, when you look back at the first game, when you had nine days of training camp, you had the COVID situation, you had the social injustice stuff come up, you had everything kind of in your blinders. When you look at your team's performance on the first game, are you kind of proud of what they, proud of what the product was and looking forward? Absolutely. I mean, I told them in the locker room right after I was proud of them because of everything that's occurred. And I'm always going to be proud of them when we win a football game. Um, and I think the effort was there, you know, regardless of the end result, when the effort's there, I'm going to be proud of them. I don't ever want to walk off the field and say, man, we didn't give it at all. The guys didn't play hard. So, you know, I hope that's our stamp is that we're all going to play hard every game. The guys are going to give their full effort. And I think we were saw that. But, you know, I did tell them I was proud of them because, as, as we well know, there have been things that have occurred outside of our realm of our little football world that are, are important, that, you know, and then other things that are distracting. So I you know, appreciate our guys' focus. And it's something that we have to have a day-to-day -day basis for the rest of the season. Terry? 
Uh, coach, uh, I know you're the old offensive line coach. So can you give us a good evaluation of how you feel your line played the, the first game out? You know, Coach Bridge has done a fantastic job with them. Obviously, you saw where we had some rotation there, you know, some of those spots. But I thought they played physical. I really did. I thought they, they, they you know, anytime you can set the standard by running the football early in the game, you know, with the first play on, uh, I thought those guys had the mindset that we need to go out there and try to out physical them. I was proud of that. Obviously, the pass protection was really solid uh, for most of the nights, so I thought they did an excellent job. We just got to continue to clean up some of the stuff, right, second-level blocking. A lot of that is guys getting reps, right? You know, you have a lot of these guys are in new positions. You know, Obina obviously had played left, left tackle for us last year, but then Titus Jones got quite a few reps there, um, more so than he has in the past, right? Isaac Ellis getting his first start at left guard, proud of the way he performed. A lot of things he continued to do. Manny Arona getting his first start at center, right? And you look at a brand new right guard in John Matt Dale, getting his first ever start, right? I mean, that, that may have been you know, a very, very limited action last year. And then at right tackle, Dylan Parham, obviously a two-year starter left guard. Uh, his first game ever starting right tackle. So when you look at that, Terry, all those guys and those new places, I was pretty pleased with their performance. Cassie Carlson. Hey, Monday. Coach, um, you talked about the 12 penalties and everything and disciplining that in practice. How do you discipline that in practice and address it uh, before you get back to game time? I think I need to do a better job making it known, right? If there's a false start penalty, I need to actually go blow the whistle, probably remove the individual that had the false start, and then back them all up five yards, right? If there's an undisciplined or if I see a guy mouthing off, then I need to, you know, call penalty, remove him, and remove that guy from the playing field during that time. So I think those things is I need to call direct action to it when it occurs rather than address it in a team meeting type deal. It needs to be um, rather than just saying, Gosh darn, that's another false start. Let's move. You know, it's got it's got to be addressed uh, in a in a better manner where everybody has a full understanding. So, even if it's the backup left guard that gets it, well, then the right starting right tackle has an understanding of how important it is for us to be focused. So everybody, the entire team understands that we've got to be a disciplined football team. We can't allow ourselves to have that many penalties in the game. Evan Barnes. Brian, you mentioned a few guys were a little bit dinged up. Uh, Savante, obviously, you mentioned him after the game dinged up. Cam Fleming left the game, didn't return. Is there any update on their status at this point? Um, I think we'll be okay. You know, Cam Fleming's a guy we got to keep an eye on uh, about his long-term status. But I'll update you guys more when I know him. But other than that, you know, we came out with our typical bruises after our first game. Uh, I think we'll respond nicely, especially given some of the 